What's up, guys? I'm here at the flea market. Let's see what we can find. Yeah, all right. Thank you so much. Yep, you're welcome. Yeah, I just put them in there kind of just so. All right, thank you.
This one's a dollar here, but unfortunately it's all beat up. The cover is detached. But I like these cool magazines. Great cover. I ended up stopping at a Goodwill on my way home and I noticed they had a CGC graded comic in their glass case. I don't even know how much they were asking for it. I just thought it was really funny that somebody donated a CGC comic to the Goodwill. Pretty funny. So another successful day at the flea market. We went to two different flea markets. There was outdoor and indoor. I found so much cool stuff. The deals were there. It was a lot of fun. I may have went a little overboard. I bought a lot, but let's go home and I'll show you the haul. I'm pretty excited about this one. All right, so I'm back home now. And now let's take a look at my haul from the flea market. As you see, I did buy a few things here. I may have bought a little too much, but everything was so cheap and I found such good deals. A lot of this is for my personal collection. And then I'm also doing a comic and toy show at the end of May. So a lot of this will be my inventory for that as well. So we're going to go over a bunch of the stuff that I got here. Uh, I won't go into too much detail, but I'll let you know uh, what I paid if I remember. And I'll talk a little bit about each of these items. We have carded figures. We have lunch boxes. We got comics and magazines, a whole bunch of action figures, video games, and other random nostalgic items. All right, let's take a look. So the first item here I got at the flea market was this Spider-Man carrying case. It's for action figures. It says it holds up to 12 figures. Uh, inside the case, it's just empty. There's nothing in there. There's no trays or anything like that. It's in pretty rough condition. Honestly, I probably shouldn't have bought it. I think I paid $5 for it. It's pretty beat up. It's got a little rip in the front and the graphic is a little bit cracked, uh, but I cleaned it as best as possible. Like this stuff doesn't come off. I mean, I scrubbed that thing, but it was five bucks. I thought it was kind of cool. I also got this Flintstones color forms, which I just thought was really cool. I think I paid a dollar for it. It's just a really cool display piece if you're a Flintstones or Hanna-Barbera collector. Uh, I also picked up, I think for like 2 or $3, this 1980s G.I. Joe Mobat tank. It's got a broken uh, cannon on it. It's missing a lot of pieces. But I have one of these that is almost complete, but I was missing the tracks or the treads of the tank. So uh, I needed those pieces. So honestly, I just bought this for the treads, and I, uh, I'm probably just going to sell that. I got some video game stuff, which I thought was really cool. There was a little bundle of um, manuals. So this one is, unfortunately, is really beat up. This is Super Mario World for Super Nintendo. Uh, also, Star Trek Starfleet Academy for SNES. Uh, some N64 ones. We got Nightmare Creatures. Turok 2. Uh, WWF Warzone. 
Uh, we have some like manuals for the dual impact controllers as well as what is this one? Uh, transfer pack instructions and then an NES Game Genie manual. And I got all of these for I think $4. So that's just stuff great to have because I get a lot of video games that are incomplete. And if I have a manual I can throw with it, it makes it a little bit more valuable. Uh, I picked this one up for my wife. She loves SpongeBob. So this is a Game Boy Color SpongeBob SquarePants and the Lost Spatula. Really cool. It works. I tested it. So I think I actually paid $10 for that. But that's a gift for the wife. Uh, I got this for, I think, a dollar or two. Um, NFL Madden 94. I also picked up some S or some NES games, or just one of them here, uh, Gunsmoke. I've never played this game, but it looked like a pretty clean cartridge. I think I paid five dollars for it, maybe. Maybe I paid a little more. I might have paid like closer to ten, uh, but still, I think I paid like eight or nine dollars for this one. This is a Sega Genesis uh, Green Dog, the Beached Surfer Dude. But it's, um, it's missing the manual, but it does have the box and the game inside. And as you see here, it's signed. I have no idea who would have signed this game. If anybody knows, let me know down in the comments. Why would somebody sign a uh, Green Dog uh, video game for Sega? I have no idea. And then I also got an Intellivision soccer game complete in box. It's The box is a little rough. Uh, but I think I paid like three or four bucks for it. It's complete. It's got the manual in the box. I just thought it was kind of cool uh, if you're a video game collector. Uh, so I did get some cool games. Uh, Sega, NES, and SNES, and Game Boy. All right. We have a lot of action figures. I'll go through those, I think, in a minute. Well, we'll go through those now. Uh, I did get this um, vintage G.I. Joe. What is this thing called? I can't remember. The little Cobra... Uh, pl platform base whatever you call it it's just a little thing that the guys sit in two of the guns are broke so unfortunately um we got three masters of the universe of the vintage mini comics that go with the action figures i thought those were really cool i paid like three or four dollars a piece on those but i needed those for my collection i paid three dollars for this at the flea market i thought this was really cool it's a little knockoff et the visitor from outer space Really, really cool. I love vintage knockoff stuff, especially mint on card. How awesome is that? Um, a lot of action figures and accessories. We'll go through those in a minute. Let's go through all the big stuff. How about the Mars Attacks Doom Saucer? This thing is new in box. Really, really cool. I paid $15 for it, but I looked it up on eBay, and they're selling anywhere from like 50 or 60 up to like almost $100 to have one of these complete in box. I don't know. Mars Attack stuff is, is very popular and definitely holds some good value. I did get some really cool comics. These were all out of the dollar bin. Uh, so we have Marvel Magazine, Bizarre Adventures, The Secret Lives of X-Men. I thought that was really cool. Uh, it's got a great cover. I also got the Ninja one here. Sorry about the glare. Um, just Ninja Magazine. I just thought that was awesome. Uh, Monsters here uh, with Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Famous Monsters Magazine, issue 141. And then a Crazy Magazine here with a little Star Wars. Really awesome. And then last one here I just thought was super cool cover. This is crazy, and it's got the uh, like Jaws homage uh, with the girl swimming. So I thought that was really, really cool. Um, so a couple magazines. Those are all out of the dollar bin at that indoor uh, comic and toy shop. I did get some carded figures. So I got this one here, Tales, of, uh, Tales from the Crypt Keeper. Uh, it's the Tales from the Crypt cartoon animated series they had in the 90s. And I actually have this entire line complete. But I saw this one, and my card is worse than this one. So I grabbed this, um, uh, I think, for $10, I believe. Which is pretty good, because normally they're like 15 or $20. Uh, also for $10, I got the Skeleton Warriors Prince Lightstar. Uh, super cool. I, I think this cartoon is great. 
and I love this toy line. I have a lot of the skeletons already. I didn't have many of the uh, the human figures or whatever you want to call them, but they're such a cool line. Look at all the different creatures and skeletons. They are so awesome. And it was 10 bucks, so I grabbed it. I have another one of these on card, so that'll go in the collection. And then I think, I, I don't know if I paid five or 10 for this one, but Last Action Hero, the Arnold Schwarzenegger guy here. How awesome is that? Um, I think I have the kid uh, in this line, mint on card like this. So I just bought it because it was cheap and I love my vintage carded figures. Um, I also picked this up. This is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the game from Milton Bradley. It's from the 90s and this is sealed still in the plastic i had this as a kid and it is such a cool game it's got like the whole backdrop and all the the megazord and all the rangers and all the villains and the and the different uh, zords and stuff and the putties um it's just, it's just it's sealed in the box it's in really good condition i saw them on ebay selling um not even as good condition as this i saw another sealed one that was in like a damaged box but it was still sealed selling for 60 or 70 dollars and this one is mint and i paid 20 bucks for it i thought that was so cool honestly i'll probably just keep this in my collection for a while i'm not sure maybe i'll throw it up on ebay or something or or bring it to the show to sell not sure yet about that one i picked up a couple cool vintage thermoses I got the Smurfs Thermos. I thought that was super cool. It's in really nice condition. No cracks or nothing. And I think I got that. For, I think they were $5. Uh, normally, I don't want to pay that much for them, but I just thought they were cool. Also, the Dick Tracy one here. Really, really cool. Vintage Thermos, you know, from Aladdin. Um, so it's good to, pull, to buy these thermoses because sometimes I come across the lunch boxes and normally the lunch boxes are missing the thermoses. So if I just grab a couple thermoses when I see them and then I find the lunch box eventually, I can complete them. And then speaking of completed lunch boxes, take a look at this. This is a vintage tin Masters of the Universe lunch box. How awesome. I love the graphics. As you see, unfortunately, it's missing the handle. But it's really not like too rusty or anything. The graphics still look really good. Man, this thing is awesome. And it came with the thermos. So how amazing is this? I love it. So cool. Great graphics. 1983. And I ended up getting this lunchbox here for... I paid a little up for it, I guess. I don't know. I didn't look at the value on this one. But missing the handle, I'm not sure how much it would be worth, but I ended up paying $25 for it. So I just thought it was super cool. This is going straight in the personal collection, so I didn't mind paying a little extra because, I mean, honestly, I got a lot of uh, really good deals. All right, let's take a look at these action figures now. So there's quite a few figures here. We're just going to start from the front and make our way back. Uh, I got this guy here. I got him for like, I think, a dollar. He looked super familiar. I cannot find where he's from. There's no markings besides it says made in China on his foot. I definitely had this when I was a kid. I don't know what it's from. If you know, let me know. But I thought it was really cool. And for a buck, I picked him up. Uh, also picked up Billy the Kid here from the, um, what is this? Uh, Legends of the Wild West or something like that. Uh, this was a dollar as well. I thought he was really cool. He's missing his accessories. But I love Western stuff, and I grabbed Billy the Kid for a buck. Uh, also some, let's see, some Beetlejuice figures. We got Beetlejuice here. He's missing his large-sized head, but he's only got his little shrunken head. Uh, but he's really cool. I think his head spins, maybe. Yeah, kind of. There we go. Spins around. I love the Beetlejuice line, and I was really excited to find him. I think I paid $5 for him. Uh, also, I got this one, I think, for a dollar. The Beetlejuice uh, missing his head, and he's supposed to have a bunch of swords sticking through his body or little spikes or something. Uh, it's missing everything, but he was a dollar, and I'm trying to pick up as much Beetlejuice stuff as I can. Also, for a dollar, I got Walkabout from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but he's missing his tail and all of his accessories. Uh, it was a figure that I needed, and I thought he would just be fine to put on display. So I bought him for a dollar, 
but I actually ended up getting another one. We'll take a look at him in a minute, but he's super cool. I love that figure. Uh, also picked up this um, G.I. Joe knockoff made by Lennard. Uh, these are like the core action figures. I just thought he was super cool looking. I didn't have this one in my collection. He was a dollar. Uh, for, I think, less than a dollar, I picked up the Ninja Turtle motorcycle. It's missing all the pieces, but it was less than a buck. Um, and in that same buy, I bought like this and a couple other action figures. And then all these accessories here. Uh, these accessories go to like a vintage, like Dungeons and Dragons knockoff line. I forgot what it's called. Um, Ninja Warriors or something. I'm not sure. This I thought was G.I. Joe. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I couldn't find out or I couldn't find it online. Also, this little uh, accessory here, this, um, I, I don't know what it's from. I don't think it's G.I. Joe. There's this little, like, mace here. I love grabbing accessories uh, when I can, like, when they're super cheap, because you never know what toy line they're going to go to, and uh, it's always great to complete figures. Uh, this probably looks familiar. This is from the uh, Carnage action figure. So I got a bunch of his little hands here and claws. Super cool. Uh, they're always missing when I find the Carnage action figure, so I got those. A bunch of these other warrior weapons, the sword and the axe and the spear. And then this was an incredible find. This is the little missile that goes in the Street Sharks uh, villain. I forgot what his name is. Uh, he's like the eel-looking guy. But this is the missile for his that goes in his mouth. And this thing on eBay sells for like $30, which is insane. Um, but I got it for just a less than a dollar all right uh let's see we got some really cool stuff back here oh i did find a mask figure i love the mask toy line i think he was like a dollar and i did not have him in my collection yet so that's awesome uh this guy goes with one of those back there let's look at these this is from a toy line toy line called pirates of dark water i have no figures from this toy line but i really wanted to get into it so this one was a buck. I couldn't believe it. Only a dollar. And he's a little scuffed up, but he's super cool. And then this is another Pirates of Dark Water uh, figure here. Really crazy looking guy. I love the molds. I love the detail. Super cool. I actually paid, I think, maybe 5 or $10 for him. Speaking of street sharks, I did get a street shark. This, These are expensive. These toys are getting pricier and pricier. I ended up paying, I think, $30 for him. Uh, so he was a little expensive, uh, but I love street sharks. Normally, if you go to buy them, they're like $40, $50, $60 dollars for one figure. And I had a bunch of these when I was a kid. I think they're so cool. And this uh, robot hammerhead is super awesome. Uh, so I picked him up, even though it was $30. Bucks. Uh, got some Bucky O'Hare. We got the... Uh, uh, toad trooper or the storm toad uh, really cool really clean figure from bucky o'hare another toy line that i love and i didn't have him yet i didn't also have the toad borg uh, really cool another creepy robot frog thing from bucky o'hare i think i got those for like five bucks each and then these are amazing these are from the toy line black star and uh, I love these guys. This one is awesome. Super cool dude here. Uh, he's supposed to have like a, a, a little spark in his chest with the wheel on the back. This one does not work, unfortunately. But I got it for like 10 bucks, which normally they're like $30. So I got him. And then I got the little uh, goblin demon creature that they come with. Uh, this is the orange one. I mean, just super cool detail and cool molds. And then this one here, I forget their names, uh, but he has the sparks. Really cool. Trying to make do it with left-handed, but there we go. You see it. He is super clean. Well, he's got a little scuff on him, uh, but still really, really cool figures. And they were like 10 bucks each. So that was a great deal. Moving on to some wild, uh, not wildcats, thundercats. Um, this is Rataro. Um, the figure looks decent, but his arms are all loose. His legs are loose. He was a dollar, a dollar for a Thundercats guy. I had to grab him. Super cool. Oh man, there's so much stuff here. This is an 
oh, such an awesome toy line. These are Cowboys of Moo Mesa. Um, they're all like cows, and this guy's a buffalo, and they're like a western animal, uh, anamorphic, whatever you call it. Uh, really cool little toy line, the Cowboys of Moo Mesa. Uh, he was, I think he was like $10, but I didn't have any of these yet, and I think they're so cool. I had to pick him up. Uh, also, we got a um, oh, uh, Earthworm, Earthworm Jim uh, character here. I don't know what his name is. I don't have any Earthworm Jim uh, toys in my collection yet, but he is super cool. Like this creepy dog, his jaw goes up and down. The figure is super clean. Um, he was like less than 10 bucks. I thought he was super cool. All right, we're running out of room here. I ended up getting some small soldiers. So we got this guy here. I should know their names. I've seen this movie a million times, but... Um, he's really cool. So we got the small soldiers guy. And then this one was awesome. He was $25, but this, this figure is huge. It's a crazy, crazy big and crazy looking figure. Uh, super cool. I just think he looks awesome. I had to grab him. He was priced at $25, but this was a lot of this was from the, uh, indoor, uh, toy and comic shop and I bought a bunch of stuff and he actually gave me a huge discount and actually gave me a lot of stuff like for free uh, because I bought so much so the dude hooked it up for sure uh, and to go with small soldiers I did buy a small soldiers VHS tape that was a dollar I thought that was really cool I figured it would go good uh, with my figures and I didn't have that on VHS yet uh, let's see I picked up a Dick Tracy for just a dollar He's got his holster, but he's a pretty clean-looking figure. I already have him, but out of the Dick Tracy line, of course, everybody wants to have uh, Mr. Dick Tracy himself, so that was cool. Uh, like I said before, I picked up the uh, Walkabout Missing the Tail. Well, at the other flea market, I picked up Walkabout with the Tail, so now I actually have a you know, a full figure here. So he's cool. He was five bucks. And then I also got dirt bag. These are both from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I love this guy. He is missing his tail. Unfortunately, they're all missing tails, which stinks, but he's, he's good. Uh, but this one usually is like a pretty expensive figure, but I paid five bucks. He's going to look good on display because I did not have him yet. Um, another random figure I got for a dollar. Uh, is this guy here. This is from James Bond Jr. Toy line, I believe. I just thought he was cool. I like his skull t-shirt. Kind of silly. Just a random 90s toy. And then last but not least, my favorite pickup of the day is this here. This thing is so cool. I got to be careful with it. It's a little, little fragile. This is from the 1980s Real Ghostbuster line. Um, this character is called Brain Buster, I believe, but look how awesome this mold is. Just a creepy head, monster head with the brains sticking out of it. And let me see if I can figure this out here. When you roll the fit, the, uh, the toy, um, once it reaches a certain point, it pops and all the brains go flying, but all the brains, let's see if I can do this carefully, are individual little ghosts. How cool is that? I think this is amazing. Uh, this was priced at $50. Um, there aren't many sold comps on eBay. I was trying to look it up to see exactly what they sell for. Um, I think I did see one selling out of Canada for like $60 or $70. He had it priced at $50, but like I said, he gave me a huge bundle discount. So I probably paid maybe $35 for it. And that is awesome. I love this thing. This is my favorite. Definitely the coolest Ghostbuster toy I have in my collection now. So I think I got enough toys. I mean, I went crazy at the flea market. It was so much fun. Uh, so much stuff. And I really didn't even spend that much money. I got such good deals. I paid up on a few things like the Street Shark and the Brain Buster and the... What else? The lunchbox. You know, I, this 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 game was twenty bucks, but most of the stuff I got was like five dollars or a dollar a piece. So how amazing of a haul! Video games and toys and uh, VHS and lunchboxes and so much cool stuff. Sealed board games and really cool little things here. Pretty epic haul at the flea market. 
All right, everybody, so I hope you enjoyed checking out that pretty intense haul from the flea market. I had a lot of fun. I got some great stuff, and I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. If you haven't already, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell so you can see when I upload my next video. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.